What's up guys, Russ Lyman here, and I'm taking this original PlayStation and we're gonna turn it into a Resident Evil themed one. Can't wait to get into this build. Now certainly this is a classic system and a nice canvas too, nice and flat so we could do a lot here. I'm gonna be using some water slide decals, but first we gotta take apart the PlayStation to get that all done. Simple, nice and easy, get the top off. Empty shell ready to modify. Right there. All right, let's get to it. And I also have a original PlayStation controller, DualShock though. We're gonna be taking this apart as well so we can modify it and make it all nice. So let's get into it. And what I like to do to stay organized, I get myself a Ziploc bag, put any of the screws and the electronics all in there so you don't misplace them. So here's a concept I'm kind of going with right here where I have the umbrella logo and then some type of like moss and stuff growing all over the PlayStation. We're gonna print it out as a water slide decal um, and hopefully it transfers over well. This is here you can see. So here it is just as the regular decal. And uh, yeah, I think we can print more strips of this to lay it right on top of the gray plastic. So we'll see how it turns out. Nice. Good texture. Careful with it. So it's gonna go right on top of there. We need to spray this whole thing with some clear coat before we apply it. So let's get to that. All right, we're just using some crystal clear, Rust-Oleum clear on this. We're gonna add like two coats to it and that'll seal in all the ink right here. Perfect, we're gonna let that dry and we'll come back. Okay, we got our graphics back right here and I laid some clear coat on it. I got two of the moss ones right here and I also made like a full, I guess, decal sheet, you can say, with umbrella logos, Resident Evil. I did a zombie face, a couple of other things. So we're gonna cut this up. We'll cut these ones up individually, but these ones are meant to go over the full PlayStation. So I got myself a little container of water water slide decal. We're going to submerge these in there for a little bit and they'll slide off this paper ready to stick on the PlayStation. Now we're going to attempt to lay this over the entire PlayStation. We'll probably let it dry and then we're going to have to cut around the buttons and here so this can still operate but I kind of want to make it look like the PlayStation has molded, kind of left out in the wild and all that. And we're going to add paint to it as well, but I thought the water slide decal could be a cool way to uh, achieve this. So we'll see how it turns out. Oop, yep, there we go. We can see it separate 
right at the end over here, just shaking it around. So we are definitely close. Just like this. So there we go with some positioning. And I also have all this here, which I'll be using to kind of lay over the front here cover that up and then maybe just use paint for the side. Okay, so we're waiting for the water slide decals to completely dry. They're right on there. They're tacky on there, but you want all the water to basically evaporate. We're gonna let this sit overnight. Then we're gonna go over it and seal it with a clear coat, but it's coming out awesome. And I got a cool surprise on the inside, but you'll have to wait to the end of the video to find out. And again, here's the controllers. We did a couple of the water slide decals and I'm gonna go back, maybe add some blood splatter and a little bit of weathering with acrylic paints but we're waiting for all this to dry before we can do that. And then we'll seal everything with a clear coat. Now I did do a little bit on the bottom since you mostly won't see the bottom. I will go back with a little bit of acrylic paints to add to like the molding and weathering of that. But this is mostly gonna be sitting face down on there. But if you flip it up, hey, you know, made by Russ Lyman. <laughs> So you can definitely see like the harsh lines I have with all the decals here. And basically I'm just taking some black and you kind of blend it out so you don't see those harsh lines as easily. Even with these clear decals, you can kind of see the seam right here of those decals where they sat because I didn't cut them exactly on the line. So you just take your brush you know, give it a little bit of weathering around that and it'll blend right in. This way you can blend the decals with the paint job.
All right, I'll just be using Rust-Oleum's Crystal Clear. We're gonna do two to three coats on this, 10 minutes in between each coat. Let's go. Alright guys, the clear coat has dried. We picked up the PlayStation. We just have to assemble it together and it's going to be finished. It turned out awesome. Now all we have to do is put all these parts back into the PlayStation and we're good to go. So uh, let's get to it. Without any further ado guys, I give you the Resident <laughs> Evil PlayStation. We go. Oh, I'm my gun equipped. <laughs> Where's the pool of blood? There you go. So that's it guys. There's the Resident Evil PlayStation Umbrella Corporation Edition, of course. I thought it turned out awesome. The little Easter egg underneath right there with the zombie. I thought that was a great touch. It fit so good. And the clear coat on this just tied it together. This way everything blends with the acrylic paints and the water slide decals. You can't really tell too much where it separates. So I thought that turned out awesome. And again, the controller came out awesome. I love the details on this, adding the water slide decals on the side there, the little bit of blood splatter. And again, the paint job blends so well with that water slide decal. Once you put the layers and layers of paint on it, you got a great blend. Turned out awesome. I'm super excited for the new Resident Evil movie to come out. Welcome to Raccoon City. I thought it'd be great to put this project together to tie in with the movie release. So guys, let me know in the comments if you plan on seeing this one. It kind of looks, you know, a little campy, almost very similar to how 
the first Resident Evil game was kind of like bad acting in it so it could be great they definitely put a lot of nods to the game in it so I'm stoked on that guys if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing I put out weekly videos here there's plenty of DIY projects of me doing other custom consoles controllers figures and much much more so be sure to check that out there'll be a link in the description to a full playlist as always guys I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivi, Techwiz X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, Turbo Jesse, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join. And I'll see you later.